Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a font, create a word, and layer it in the Inkscape program. So we're going to start off by choosing the text tool here, which is the letter A and this little liney thing next to it. We're going to go ahead and click on the Inkscape program after we've selected that tool. And we're just going to type a word in there. And I'm going to click this arrow button and I'm going to stretch this to make it larger. And I'm going to make sure that this lock is locked or else it's going to skew my image. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and hit the duplicate button so that I have two of these hello fonts on my canvas. And so here over here, this is the duplicate button. So I'm just going to hit that. Now, it's only selecting the top layer of the font, which is what we want. Then next, we're going to go up to the path at the top. We're going to choose that, and we're going to go down to Object to Path. Then we're heading over to the object next door. We're going to choose that and go down to Ungroup. Then we're going back over to the path again, and we're going to go ahead and click Union. Now that we've done that, we have a top and a bottom font. The top font, you cannot make any more edits to changing the font itself, like into a different style of font. The back layer, you actually can still make edits to that if you wanted to change the type of font. So now to make this top layer thicker, we're going to go up to path and head down to the dynamic offset. Once you choose that, you'll see that this little box pops up, this little square. You're going to take that square, you're going to click, and while holding the button, you're going to go ahead and drag that up. You can see that your font enlarges. Then you're going to release, and you're going to click on this arrow up here. And then you're just going to take that top layer and you're going to click this here to send it all the way to the back so it is behind the smaller layer of font. Now to find the smaller layer of font, you can just click about the middle of the hello here. So I'm going to click right about here and it should select the smaller layer of font. And you'll know that it selected that layer because this box now is smaller than the full image that is on the canvas. And now when I select a different color, it will change the top layer of font since we had originally sent this thicker layer to the back. We now have a double layered font. If you would like, you can make one more layer and move that top layer, choose the thick one, and duplicate again, going up to a dynamic offset under your path tool, and we're going to go ahead and click that again. Once our box is shown there, we can hold down the box and drag it. We're again choosing the arrow and sending that layer to the back. We're going to go ahead and choose another color. Now. To align these, instead of clicking on this and dragging it over, you can select all three of them and then go up to your object. You're going to go down to the align and distribute, which will bring up this menu here on the right side. You're going to click to align horizontally and vertically, and that will align them to the center. I hope this video helped you learn how to create a font with a layer behind it. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Like and subscribe if you would like to see more updates about how I use Inkscape 